What's this thing? Oh, it's a big one. I think we got enough though. Rescue mission day nine. Welcome back everyone. My name's Guilty and we're back with Pikmin 4. So we've got a new guy that we need to heal up with a doctor. You should be caught up on everyone now, Yoni. According to Dingo, this castaway must just be our pilot. Mm -hmm. Let me think. The primary symptom is the growing of leaves, yes? If that is the case, then I believe we may be able to cure them. Mm -hmm. While stranded, I discovered a bewitching specimen called the Lumicnol. It only appeared in the dark of night. When draw dawn breaks, it releases a sap quite high and degradative enzymes. Mm -hmm. I believe it can make a medicine out of those secretions that can break down the newly grown leaves. No. Ah, for real? I mean, cool. But then they'll find out I just left Bernard behind. Uh oh. <laughs> He's in trouble, I guess. Alas, our friend Dingo has consumed all the sap that I previously collected. So new blood will have to be perform some night expeditions to harvest some medicinal ingredients for us. Oh, we haven't actually gone out in the night, have we? It's always been during the day. Oh, it's nothing to lose sleep over, except in the literal sense. Find me later and I'll teach you all you need to know about night expeditions. Excellent. Thanks to Yoni, it sounds like we have a solution to our leafing dilemma. Now everyone to your stations, please. Copy that, Captain. Okay. Seems like we got like a new little um, night expedition. Okay, that's interesting. So we got all the usual, right? Um, it's nothing this way. Okay, what do we got new here? Rush boots. The faster you go, the more you explore. Oh yeah, that sounds useful actually. Get that. Does it mean we can equip it as well? So now we can run faster? Oh, look at that. That's so much faster. I love it. Okay, let's see what the night expedition is about. Excuse me. Well, hello there, new blood. It'll be nice to have a fresh subject around here. Since we'll be working together, you can just call me Yoni. No sense wasting valuable research time. I need you to go out to some night expeditions for me. I want you to harvest extracts from the Lumicnols that I can use as medicinal ingredients to only... It's only possible at night. I could uh, I could go on, but you should just see for yourself. Um, let's, yeah, let's explore at night. We were going to go to the new area, but I think this might be something the game wants us to do, so. Um, I guess this is kind of a new area, right? Looks like a good place to start exploring. Some speckled... Oh, the danger level's quite low, too. Ancient arches. Travel to the following place. Ancient arches, eh? Sunset's not quite here yet, so you can breathe easy for a bit. Oh, was I meant to do that, like, after the day? I don't know. <laughs> Guess we wasted a whole day not exploring. Okay. Oh, well. Lesson learnt. So where does that go to? Sun Speckled Terrace, Ancient Arches, Danger Level 1. Okay, we're here. So this is the first area we were in, in Pikmin 4. Or well, the first major area. So this is the night time now, and we see some new stuff around, like little specks of, I don't know, moon stars or whatever they are. <laughs> I guess Nintendo likes little moon stars. It's like from Mario Odyssey. Oh, that's new. What is that? There it is, new blood. That is a Lumicnol. Oh. When dawn breaks, it will release an extract. It'll use... I'll use that for medicine. But if the Lumicnold is destroyed, we won't harvest any of the extract at all. All you need to do is protect the Lumicnol until morning. Simple, right? Oh! Is that a new Pikmin? Well, well now. What's this? Ah, it is a new Pikmin. These little guys weren't here before. Let's observe them. I guess they're like what I use during the night. Do they have some sort of special ability? Oh, is that their home? Oh, that's cool. That's how you get them. Look at that. It propagated more. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, New Blood? I don't like him calling me New Blood. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Look at that. Glow Pikmins. Okay, that kind of makes sense because it'll probably be too dark in some places. Yep, those little guys sure look like a new variety of Pikmin to me. They're kind of glowing, so Glow Pikmin seems like an appropriate name. True, true. wonder how strong they are. I thought it was more dangerous at night, so hopefully they have some attack on them. Oh, they're everywhere! Oh, that's a good start! Aha, uh -huh, they're rather fond of you, new blood. Oh, that's good. That's perfect. You 
And these little guys can protect the Lumic Knoll together. That star-shaped fragment from earlier, let's call it a glow pellet. Try carrying those to the Lumic Knoll to see if we can propagate more glow Pikmin. I leave it to you then. Ah, perfect. So, how much we got? We got 10. New creature discovered, and apparently this is a creature too. And I guess if we grab these, do they make even more of them? Yes, it does. And we increased our max, which is strange. I don't know what our max would be. Is that how much time we got in the... Yeah, that is. We've got the moon going. Okay, everyone do your thing there. And we'll get more, because I feel like we need more. Track the... Oh, what is that? Is that a new one? Okay, it's about time that... Yeah, we're going to defeat that with a glow Pikmin. Oh, whoa! They get some nighttime powers, like vampire teeth, glowy eyes. See how the creature became more aggressive at night? They're drawn here by the irresistible glow. Watch out now, they'll come for the Lumic Knoll, so don't let them break it. Oh, I, so I have to... Oh. Oh, so it's like a defense thing. For now, collect glow pellets and propagate more glow pigment to build up your protective forces. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. The creatures will keep attacking until dawn, so do your best to take them out. So they just randomly appear? Okay, it's up to you, Ochi and Guilty. Good luck. Okay, interesting. So where is this, like... Oh, okay, we can kind of see it through the walls and that. Inter oh, there's multiple. So I guess our mission would be to just collect heaps of these. We've got eight of these. Oh, look, there's more Lumicnol. Okay, they're kind of easy to defeat, which is good. As long as they don't get close. Oh, we can see them on the map. This is a proper RTS, eh? <laughs> there we go. I hope they're happy now. Can we move our base here? No. Oh, they put it in the new thing. Aha, glow pellets can be carried here too. From the looks of it, this could be a juvenile form of Lumicnol. If that's the case, then it's possible this could be connected to the Lumicnol below ground. Maybe it could serve as an internum drop point when transporting glow pellets from far away. Additionally, it seems like it could act as a decoy for the creatures to help keep the Lumicnol safe. It's small, but it shines quite brightly. Why don't we call it Triknol? <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, well. Good thinking. Try using it as a decoy and interim drop points. Okay. So we don't even have to build that. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know where these guys are coming from, but I'm kind of concerned that I might miss them. But we'll see. See the map. So the map shows where they are. That's, can they come around this side? I wonder. Interesting. And I think it's just like literally like a defense game here. Like there's nothing else on the map that I see that can progress. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, protect the luminal. We are doing that. And that will go to the triknol, that they call it. Oh look, that's 20 of them. Okay, there's plenty here. You guys do that. Perfect. Oh, oh. Oh, they're going away. Is there one up here? Yeah, there is. Okay, you can get hit. You can get more there. I'm sure they're happy there. I like it how they just follow back to me. Like, they don't stay at the base, which is good. There you go. Easy defeated. It's just, like, instantly die. I guess in the future days and the future levels, they'll have harder monsters. That might be more trickier. They'll come from multiple directions. But today we're doing really good. Oh no, it's getting attacked. No, where did you come from? Oh, they're coming from over there. Oh, I'm being blindsided. Oh, they destroyed it. Oh no. That ain't good. Can we change our base here or no? It's just uh, during a daytime thing. Look at them all, this is intense. Is there more coming from the other way? No. I feel like that's an enemy there. I left Ochi behind, but I guess we don't need him. I 
Attack, attack. Yes. Okay, it looks good. What's this thing? Oh, it's a big one. I think we got enough though, so I think it's good. Oh, they're killing some. They're killing some. It's like the boss level now. Oh, the day went pretty fast. Look at that. That must be the boss. Oh, they're all happy now. Ah, fantastic. There's not a single creature left standing or skittering or hopping. Does that mean we completed it? Aha, here it comes. Pay attention, new blood. Oh, yes. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a Lumignol that we needed, right? That's the reason we came here. That is a condensed Lumignol extract. It's very high in decorative enzymes. I believe we should call it Glosap. It's a critical ingredient for the leafling cure. Gather it with care, new blood. Hmm. So this whole mission was based on getting that. And looks like we've successfully done it. Look, the glow pigmen have come to see it off. Do they want to follow us back to the rescue command post? Well, they do. <laughs> That's a cool little glow pigmen. I guess we can't use them during the day, though. Uh. My, my, what's this glow pigmen turn into seeds? I need to study this up close. Please bring some back with you. Will do. Guess that will unlock some other things, too. It's cool, a little mini game, too. So it's not quite as long. The night isn't as long as the day, which makes sense. It's only like eight hours. And yeah, we, we did a lot. Exploration day results day nine. Harvest successful. So we got that. What a fruitful harvest. Okay, so we only just got one. From one glow sap, I can make exactly one cure. Ah, okay, so each time we go and find these things, leaflings, we need to go get a glow thing. Collected 10. Okay, I don't know what they're used for, but I guess we'll find out. So, how was your first venture onto the planet at night? I'm gonna say it was, it was fun. Yeah, good, good. What a surprise though, you must meet a whole new kind of Pikmin. Before you rescue me, I've never seen a glow Pikmin myself. I can only assume the Pikmin took a liking to you, new blood. You two should get as much help from them as you can. You are helping them protect their Lumic Knolls after all. Though I'm not so sure you've got the night expedition thing fully under control just yet. Perhaps I'll go ahead and select the Lumic Knolls for you to retrieve glow sap from until you are. Ahem. I'd like to remind you that you are not allowed to overwork my crew. Oh, okay. So got the side missions um yeah a whole bunch of them maybe we'll go to the next day and actually do some sort of normal day rescue mission day 10 okay so we won't skip the day this time right administer the cure at once yes captain i wonder who this is it's got to be someone good please be the captain or someone useful that doesn't look like the captain does it in the green uniform professional spelunker he's known for saying you can always find me in the pits he'll take the leap into any cave no matter how dangerous it is <laughs> that's not the one we're looking for our work doesn't end here it's our duty to care for and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say okay i wonder what the spelunker has to say why is he here where is he where is he hiding is he over there is that him no, you're just... No, I don't want to update my look. I like my look. He must be hiding somewhere. No, that's Dingo. Oh, there he is. No, is this him? No, you're no there. Wow, thanks a ton. You bloomed a whole lot of Pikmin flowers. They're so beautiful. Oh, okay, we did a mission. Thank you. <laughs> I guess I should always talk to them just to claim my missions. Bloom a bunch of Pikmin flowers. Okay. Excuse me, sir. No. Where is this person? Is he hiding up here? Spelunker? He should be around here somewhere. Oh, here he is. I found him. So go up here. What are you doing way up here, though? Well, I've been drawn to caves for most of my life, but I haven't run into danger like this in a long time. My life's quite precious to me, thanks for helping. After all, I can poke around in caves, if I'm alive, right? 
Oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Dash. I've explored all over the universe thanks to my family's deep pockets. Is that all you have? Oh no, you got more. The captain warned me that she'd be very angry if I got stranded again, so I can't explore any caves. Oh hey, I just had the best idea. Starting right now, I'm going to recognize you as my top, well, only pupil. I need you to explore the caves around the planet on, on my behalf. You'll have to make it through them all the way to the exits. I see you've already made your way through several caves. I would expect no less from my star pupil. Okay, well that was easy. I already did five caves ages ago. Your attitude, the way you take on these caves so enthusiastically, it's like when I first discovered the underground world. Okay, I just need one more cave to explore. <laughs> then he's happy. Okay, so that gives us more like research stones, right? I might keep them because we might need to build a bridge or something during the day. So let's do that. All systems are go, the SS Beagle is ready for takeoff. Yes. Which area would you like to explore? I kind of want to explore that area, but I know we don't have enough ice pigmen. Hmm. We've got more onions there too, though. Hmm. You know what? I might actually go here. I'll do, save the other one for later. The new area. Because I feel like there's an area we haven't explored yet. But we have the right pigmen for it now. Okay, so I've collected all the Pikmin here, and there's a few things we haven't done on this map. And the first thing I want to try... Wait, where are we on the map? Oh, we're over this bend. Yeah, okay, so we've got to go around. And we've done that trial run, but we haven't collected that yet. So how are we going to get over there? This is like in the first couple episodes we've done this level. So... Oh yeah, it was that pumpkin, right? And to get that, we need a yellow Pikmin, because they can shoot higher. And yes, that's how you're going to do it. I don't know why I didn't see that before. It should have been obvious to me, that yellow thing. That's good, we got them now. And we need 30 of them. Wow. There's a way to send heaps at once, but I don't know how to do that. I keep forgetting. But that's fine. Can they just jump off the edge? That's going to be a huge find for us. And we want that one too. Okay, we haven't rescued that one either. So just a guy there. Uh, so we'll jump down here with our little 10 Pikmin. They can do whatever they do there. And we'll probably need a yellow Pikmin to get that too. So don't think it can come across there. So we'll have to do a bit of waiting. Let's get some more red, yellow, <laughs> while we wait. Oh, that was huge. Look at that. Wonderful. Okay, yellow Pikmin, do your job here. Dig that up. I guess two will do. I don't know if that's enough to carry it, though. Is it? Yes, that's perfect. Okay, they'll do that. And we haven't rescued this one, but we've got enough ice Pikmin to freeze this thing now. That's what we were missing before. Okay. And we need that. We don't need any water pigment because we can just freeze it, right? Okay, that'll do its job. I can't believe I missed most of that, but it's good that we're cleaning up now. Could miss some important character or something. Like it's a leafling. We'll probably need another medicine for that. I don't know how many leaflings we got at the moment. Ice melted? That's fine. Okay, who are you? I guess it won't tell me, but maybe Russ will have more success getting that ID information. Yep, we don't know who it is. That's fine. Ah, uh, does this mean that when someone becomes a leafling, their biometric authentication data becomes unreadable? If science is unable to solve this problem, then I'm afraid I'm at a loss. I feel like we knew that before, but I guess the game thinks we should have done that ages ago. <laughs> Oops. Okay, another thing we haven't got is over here. Oh, yes, that's the blue onion we needed. I always wanted that. And we haven't gone up that location, too. Okay, there's lots of important stuff to do. So we come over this area, and then we'll explore this area that we haven't got either. Is that 100%? That is 100%. That's 100%. What about this one? We haven't got this 100%. We missed someone in there. But that should be fine. We can do that as well. 
hopefully get 100% by the end of the day. That would be probably, I don't know if we can do that, but we can give it a go. So we don't know what the area is going to hold. We need 30. Oh, we need 30? What? That's too much. Can we, can we swim? Is that a thing? Oh, yep. We can do it like this, I think. Come on, get up, get up. Or not. Nah, this isn't going to work. Wait a minute. If we go back to camp, let's put our camp over here. And then we can get more blue ice ones, right? Yeah, move base here. Okay, let's do a bit of swapping. Yes, okay. So, let's get less of these. And more of these. We just need 30, right? Is that enough? Yes. Okay, leave one behind just in case somehow they all die. Okay, now we can actually do it. I don't know where we got the extra ones from. Freeze them. Yes, okay, perfect. Now with that done, I guess we can do this. 15 of them. Yes, okay. While we wait for that, I guess we can try it. Is that something you can go on to? Oh, that gets us over the other side if we need to. That's probably useful. Okay, while well, the ice pikmen are doing their thing there. You can build the bridge. Um, I guess these three can do that. Thanks, fellas. It's perfect. Wait, we're missing three. How come you guys are taking so long? There you go. This, uh, the yellow pikmin must be faster. Climb up here. Oh yeah, Ochi can't follow us, can he? Okay, I hope this is enough of us to attack this thing. Okay, don't die. Oh, it's fire. Yes, we're doing good. Okay, that destroyed that. We can get that, but we want this. That's the blue one we wanted. Onions really do come in all kinds of different colours. Could there be only one for every Pikmin type? It would be very useful. Oh, uh, that's not enough though. Okay, I gathered the 20 enough for this blue onion, which is good. Now we collect that. Excavation complete. I don't have to worry about those berries, do I? Oh wait, you're missing one. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. That should do it. Every man helps. Now this will be something we needed a long time ago. Okay, we'll ride him. We're kind of short on the blue ones, but now we are happy. Okay, I speak human, you're doing a very good job there. And we're halfway. Can go towards that area. But we'll... Oh wait, we want that onion as well. I think we'll need the yellow Pikmin for that. But we'll hop into this area here and rescue whoever's in there too. Because they could be a proper character. I wonder if it's a leafling or not. Perfect. You guys can skedaddle this way now. Okay, now these will turn blue now. Or ice. A bit light blue. Oh, look at it. Oh, I like the multicolored ones. Yes. Does that increase our capacity? The more onions we fuse together, the more types of Pikmin we can propagate. That's good news for us. So it doesn't increase our capacity, but these things should turn blue now. Right? I don't know. They're not turning blue. I'm not sure. What does it mean, like, propagate? Like, what? Weird. <laughs> it won't even let me get blue Pikmin on that. It's not even an option. But let's go over here. It's a place we haven't been to yet. We have been here, but we missed someone. Let's hop in here, and it's 50% here, so we're missing whoever's meant to be in here. And I feel like 50 is way too much, but <laughs> the more the merrier. Let's do this. Hectic Hollow sub-level 2. We're just here to rescue that one guy, I think. One or two guys.
Okay, give that a skip. What's this? Remember the glow seeds you picked up the other night? I took the liberty of putting them in your pack. Let me show you how to use them. Oh, that's interesting. So we go into our pack. Then we select glow seed from your pack. I never use these at all. And what do they do? Oh, I can just get more Pikmin. Okay. And what's the use for that? When you throw it, it'll instantly create a glow Pikmin. Of course, they'll only work at night or in caves, so don't forget that. Okay, so do I get them back once I throw them? I'm not sure. But yeah, we need to get that fella. Now, I was trying to get it before, but now I think I understand what to do. We need to hold this button, and it kind of knocks them down, right? Yes. So we didn't know that before. Okay, this shouldn't take too long, and then we got our little rescue guy. I don't know why, but this takes 25% of this tunnel, so it must have been a very short tunnel that we done before. Come on. In you go. Time to look at the ID info. This is Mika from Nietzsche Key, a new teacher at Aleon Academy who's putting her liberal arts degree to good use as advisor to the Planetary Science Club. Does that mean I get to research more stuff? A school teacher? Did she come here as a part of an educational field trip? Oh, but then that means other teachers and students from the school could be stranded here too. We'll be able to get the whole story from her as soon as we can. That'll be interesting because there's just a whole bunch of students and teachers everywhere. Uh, I think we can leave now, right? Can we leave through here? 100% uh, that's good. What's the... Can't just exit normally? Nope. We'll go to the exit here and leave. And that didn't use much time because we, there's no time in the caves, but even real time it didn't use any. Okay, it's 100% now. I reckon we can 100% this whole place actually, before night time. Okay, we're back on the surface and the next thing we want to do is get that onion that was over here. So I can see it in the distance there. And I like how we upgraded our, um, our speed of walking. That's very useful. Now, can we throw it up here? Yes, we can. Okay, they'll do their thing there. They'll probably bring it back to our base. Wait, is that enough of them? That was fast. It's good, and we're halfway. So, let's look here. There's got to be a way to move that, right? Yes. So how do we get up there? Is it that way? No. I can't read maps properly, can I? That is not good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, it's over here. So this is what we're missing. We're missing that bridge. Didn't make sense on the map, but I guess it will make sense now. There's a lot of them. Do we have enough? Yeah, we do. Come on, you can do it. Yes. Clay bridge complete. Now let's check the map. Now that looks proper now. Let's see what's in this area. We've done that, right? Yeah. We've done that. Yep. Okay. There's just this area here. Let's quickly explore this area. There's nothing here. Uh, some enemies here. That's fine. We can defeat them easily. Okay, we've got three there. Uh, we need one more there. Leave some behind, but that's fine. They can do their job. I've got to explore this rest of this hill. It's got to be something good up here. I knew it, a tunnel. And how do we get up there? Oh, there's multiple treasure up here too. I think we might run out of time. There's like, there's too much up here. <laughs> Art of Dendori is not that good. Uh, I guess this will get us to the other side, wouldn't it? It's like a through path. I wonder how big this one is. Wild Pikmin. Don't know what kind of things we'll find in here. And then Aquiferous Summit. 30 and 30. That sounds good. I'm excited to find something good here. I know we won't find new Pikmin, but we could find... Oh, we got some a new rescue. Hmm. Increase our pup drive. That's a good thing to do. Aquaferia Summit. Nice. Okay, this is kind of a, like a new looking area too. 
And we don't have to worry about time here, which is good. Um, this is a short area. Um, I don't know what this is. That's new. Do you destroy that? I don't know what they even do there. Wait, that's not even destroying. Oh, we, we probably need, like, ice pikmin, right? I need to freeze it. Yes. Yes, okay. That makes more sense. Hydro jelly burst. I don't know exactly what that was meant to do. There was nothing in it. Oh, you guys froze that. That's good. I'll leave you to it. Now, what was the button I, I used before that was like to send multiple? I don't even know. Hmm. I guess we do it in the normal way. Collect all these. Okay, I think I got everything from that area, so what we'll do is collect these guys. These fellas can come with. <laughs> we got 75? What? Did we get some from those um, things? Ice is about to melt. So we're going to do the same thing with the water here. Freeze it. Good work, Pikmin. You know what to do. Come on, attack it. Attack it faster. That should be good. Hydro jelly burst. Looks like a little painting thing. Huh. Okay, I'll let them do their thing. It was like a card. There could be a card collectible now. New treasure collected. That's like a stalk or something. Huh. Oh, okay. It's like part of the dice section. Pikmin. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we're in the final sub-level. Now this is 50%, so it should be the last one. And what do we got in here? Okay, it's in a short area again. I guess it was the first, like, kind of major area, so... We're just used to the, the third level. That's good. Look at them all. <laughs> now, where do we want to go from here? We want the lava ones to go in there, and we want the ice ones to go in here. Yeah, okay. Sounds like a plan. They can do whatever they do. Oh, that's giving us 80. That's heaps. And we can walk in there, but... I'll wait until we go around, because I don't want to leave Ochi behind. Oh, there's another puzzle piece. Yes, I always want to make that puzzle. I want to see what it is. 22, perfect. I get a couple of them. And a few gold. Nice! <laughs> and we got heaps of them, so we can continue to. Actually, we'll push that. And we'll get the rest on these if we can. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Everyone's doing what they should be doing. This is how the out of Dandori should work. Whether it actually happens is a different question. Okay, that's a shortcut there, right? So, get the rest of you to come follow. They can do that in the meantime. Sure, they'll get that. Okay, red Pikmin. Oh, and these guys. Wait, why is that one floating? It's just on the spider web, I guess. Pluck these. Hydro jelly bursts. I like it how I always like do the most time efficient thing when there is no time. <laughs> Okay, that's perfect. So they're going to do their thing there. Oh. Okay. Let's see another ID to check. I don't even remember getting that. Must have been in that blue thing. Sai from Ogura. This environmental ecologist joined the team to research Pikmin ecology and decipher their mysterious relationships to whistles. Ah, the endless burden of the acad academic... I don't even know if that makes sense. Never satisfied unless they see with their own eyes and touch with their own hands. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they always have to come and see for themselves. They don't believe anything. Perfect. Okay, they can do that. That will probably open the gate, right? Yes, it did. And that's origami. That's a cool thing to have. Wait. There we go. 
And we'll get that egg. Let's see if that's something. I guess that is kind of something to get. <laughs> Do we need to bloom them? I guess we can if we want. I'm sure they liked that. <laughs> now with that done, I think I think that's everything, right? Yeah. Seems good. We've got one extra pup drive from getting Sai, and look at all this. Okay, it wasn't much, but we got a corner piece of the jigsaw. Nice. 100% complete. Okay, here we are. Oh, we can move our base here. Yes, that's, that's great. That means we might be able to get everything. Um, okay. We've got to do this real fast. Look, look at our time. It's dwindling very fast. So I'll miss the end of the day. Um, okay, so what have we got on our map? Nothing that way. There could be something here. There's two treasures and a big monster. I reckon we freeze this one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get hit. I guess we're going to wait until they do their spike things. Oh, that'll work. Yes, look at that. Perfect. Attack him while it's frozen. This is a tough one, eh? Freeze him, freeze him, get him. Yes, look at that. Halfway now. I believe in you. Okay. Oh no, they got all the spikes back. I think, I think um, freezing the guy here is the best way to go, right? Come on, do it, do it, do it. I believe in you. Oh, so close! I don't think we even need to freeze them anymore. We just attack it. Yes, look at that. Oh, we got another card as well. Okay, get that and get that, everyone. Did we? We didn't even lose anyone. That was great. There's probably something in here though. Let's get that too. Okay, with the remainder of our guys, hopefully. Oh, it's getting real close now. The majority of our guys are probably... Where, where is it? There's a digging spot. Shoot, I want to grab everyone else. Because it might be a heavy thing over here. Okay, everyone. Got 50 out of... Si oh, there they are. Okay, forgot about them. They're doing a little decoy mission. Okay, please everyone be fast with this because the day is going to end soon. Okay, I'll jump down here. Um... They can do that. Hopefully that's not that much. Just like a little bone or something. Yeah, we can get up there and we'll use this guy. 20 of them. Hopefully we do got 20 of them, right? Yes, okay, perfect. We have enough yellow ones to do the job. That's like a dragon fruit or something. Are they all moving it? Yes, they are. Okay, every Pikmin, come with me. We don't want to leave anyone behind. It's almost time for the day to end. Okay, we are hurrying up. Everyone's going to their main base, which is good. Anyone stranded anywhere? A lot of people are. Oh, it's just a little peanut. <laughs> We've got a little peanut and we got a dragon fruit. This is the best way to end a day, like right 20 seconds before the day ends too. Come on, dragon fruit. Why are you taking this long? Come on, hurry up. It's going to be like a 10 second countdown soon. Come on, where are they? Do they need help? Maybe I'll go help them. Come on, Pikmin, you can do it. There's a little guy there, but won't worry about him. Will that help? Yep, okay, that helps a little bit. Gives him like a little extra bit of punch. Come on, dragon fruit, we can do it. Move faster. It's going to be a 10 second countdown any second now. Yeah, I think we did it. Eight, seven, come on, hurry up, put it in this. Why are you walking this way? Six, come on, five. I think we did it. Dragon fruit success. Perfect. Now is that 100% complete? So first dragon fruit. Let's see the area. I reckon we got everything. 
That's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Great job. We did it. I'm going to let the time run out too. That's a perfect timing. We were like three seconds off. And we 100% of the place. I don't think we missed anything. Okay, day complete. Um, I won't do the night time. Maybe I'll do that in the next episode. But let's see what we have here. Exploration results day 10. Mika, Sai and uh, Leafling. Ooh, pup drive to level 4 now. Spark helium. Oh, we got that massive pumpkin. Look at all that. That's good. That was a successful day. I like that. 99%? Wait, we missed something? Oh, there's a treasure somewhere hiding. That means we're going to spend a whole exploration day just to find that one treasure. <laughs> Must be hidden somewhere in the ground somewhere. Okay, so we're up to the next day now. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!